Right, good evening everyone. It's finally time. Newly upgraded Arcade Penguin stream. Uh, got myself the capture card today, as some of you already know. An Elgato 60 HD, I think it's called. HD 60, something like that. It's It was a pretty expensive one. Uh, managed to get it uh, running properly with the help of mixed books, my lord and saviour. Saviour. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, so tonight we're going to retry the Ring City DLC in Dark Souls 3. Uh, got my main character to the new, new game plus, so it's going to be a bit more difficult, but it should be a lot more fun. Um, mostly not a blind run, but there is a lot of secrets that I actually missed out on. And some, con like, armor and weapons and stuff like that. So, yeah, there should still be new stuff for me to find. Should be good. Praise McSpooks. Hello, hello. How you doing? Hope you're having a good afternoon, evening, Monday. Monday morning. I am really tired. I just cannot think straight. I mean, I think I must have said the phrase, go fist yourself into a coma at least four times today, and I don't know why. It's rather um, explicit, but you know. Anyways, before I blab everyone to death, let's get this show on the road and hope that everything still works as anticipated. It is Wednesday, my dude. Right, I might have to... I hope this doesn't mess things up. Audio from PC. No, wait, I don't need to do that. What am I doing? No, because I'll have the audio playing from my TV on speakers and it should be fine. If you guys can hear it bleed through the mic, let me know. Um, I might reduce the volume just a little bit. But hey, look, I'm streaming from the PS4. You can actually see my dashboard this time. Instead of just being a blue screen saying you cannot view this content or whatever. <coughs> Hopefully the quality is going to be quite good. Um, I might have to mess around at some point, maybe even... Put the FPS back up to 60 from 45. Um, after I had to tone that down and tone down the resolution. Uh, when I tried to stream Overwatch, which still failed. There is a bit of a delay between it happening on, like, on my TV and it happening on OBS. So I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be a delay between my reaction and the game. So, just as a heads up, you might hear me like shout and swear and curse before something happens. Which would be quite interesting. But yeah, it looks like everything's working. I mean, if the PS4 is handling the actual, like, the game itself and the PC is just focusing entirely on streaming, then it's fine. And I can actually use my uh, better mic as well, which is very nice. I should probably move my tower a little closer to me so I can actually speak into the mic. Uh, so yeah, anyways, we, like I said before, we are in New Game Plus. This is the very start of the second DLC. And I haven't actually progressed at all through this. I basically had to speedrun the entire way through New Game Plus. Uh, because I wanted to play this with one of my friends who's playing it for the first time. And there was a bunch of stuff I really wanted from the first DLC and from later in the game. Because now you can actually add a password. And no matter what level and difficulty you're on, you can still connect with your friend as long as you have the same password. It just means that since I'm a much higher level, I get scaled down. Ah, so back to the dreg heap. I don't even think I spoke to you the first time. Oh, your head's square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that clamoring tin can was the last. Clamoring tin well, can. here we go again. What is it you want from this old stone amped hag? I've nothing for you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. I have business with you. Well, that came out of nowhere. 
You think an old stone-armed hag would be brimming with... Oh, none of that. Not a smithereen. Ooh. I can buy a split-leaf greatsword. Ooh, I want that. That looks cool. Yep, I've never... I can't believe I completely missed her first time. She also sells a few uh, embers, which I like to give to my friend because we ten he tends to die a lot, unfortunately. Keep and he has to summon me at every bonfire so I can kind of help him. I don't exactly hold his hand, but, you know. Right, I want to re-equip. I love these crow weapons that I found in the first DLC. They're really nice. They're not really practical or strong, but I like to have them around. Alright, there we go. <coughs> now then, take the plunge from a good old Slave Knight Gale. So yeah, let, uh, let me know what the audio is like and stuff like that. Oh, I forgot about these. I could do with some uh, more miracles soon. If I can get these guys out the way, I'll just rush in. I can't remember if these guys infinitely respawn or not. Oh dear. Wait, he's the summoner. Oh, he's one of them. Right. Audio seems good. Sweet. Crow weapons. Figures I would use them. Hell yeah, dude. The weapon arts for them are really fun. That's why I use them. And there's not many... I mean, there's only uh, like a handful of dual weapons in the game like these axes. And a lot of them are just like twin weapons. But you very rarely come across like dual weapons that are actually two different weapons. Like this is like a bit of a rapier or whatever. Or an S-Doc like weapon. And you've got claws in the other hand. So it has like a quite an alternative moveset which is like very fast and deals like a lot of smaller hits. Like that. It's weapon art is really good because I can just jump up, throw out knives in a direction like I'm goddamn Naruto. Um, as for the crow claws, they just look really cool. They've got, like, the very standard move set, which isn't great. Rolling attack's really good. But it's... Uh, is it a jump attack? Hang on, I need to try and figure this one out. Oh! Let me do my weapon out on him. So that's his weapon art. I, could, I just kind of, like, dive in and do loads of slashes. And there's another one which apparently doesn't do anything. That's the move. Kind of, like, rush in and do, like, some sort of cat slash thing. But it apparently doesn't do anything. Like, you, you just can't hit anyone. I need to remember, I've actually got some miracles now. I can only use them a couple of times, but... Now this guy, I found very intimidating the first time I saw him. But what I didn't realize is that he's placed here for a reason. Oh, I missed. Never mind. Oh god. He does a lot more damage than he did last time. This guy seemed fairly easy to stun lock as well. Like there. Or stagger, I guess. They do a lot of damage though.
Hell of a lot of tight night chunks, though. Pointy stick thing and multiple stabby stabs. Brutal flurry bird talons kind of attack. Yeah. That's precisely what I was after. So we've got another aquamarine dagger, which is a sorcery, sorcery weapon. In fact, if we want to go for the crow theme, I, I don't like how it's got a massive hat, but it's Plague Doctor mask. It's the only one in the entire game that kind of resembles a Plague Doctor in some way. Um, I mean, the hat could be good if it was on its own, but I really wanted like a Plague Doctor mask on its own with either a hood or a small hat. But this will do, I guess. Um, but at the moment, I still prefer the silver mask. I think it's really cool. Makes me look like a Bloodborne character more than a Dark Souls character. Get those souls. I need I need those souls for my shoes. I've got 135,000 souls. My feet will be saved. My feet will thank me. Right, which way do I go? <coughs> I think I have to jump down here, don't I? Why am I so low on flasks? Did I forget to rest at a bonfire or something? I also need to try and look at every nook and cranny as well. I want to find this NPC who I never actually saw uh, last time. I think his name's called Lap or someone, and he's got a bit of a quest line over here. That hat is too big. It's a pretty extravagant uh, hat, I have to say. All right. Oh no! I'm going to run an ambush around here. Oh, there it is. That was a terrible move, by the Oh, there it is. Do you read me? Do Titanite skill. This DLC has a ton of good stuff. Scales, Twinkling Titanite, Titanite Chunks. The first DLC didn't really have very much at all in the way of, I guess, stuff like this. Ow! Let's save my... Uh There we go. Save some of my Estus flasks because they're a lot quicker. Holy hell, my health bar. <laughs> it's pretty big. Whoa! Okay. Okay. I don't remember this happening. Hang on, what, what rings have I got? Gradually restore HP. In fact, let's get rid of the torch. Don't ask me why I infused my Twin Katanas with Blessed, um, the Blessed Gem. I think I only did it because they looked cool, having them as like an off weapon. Just having like two scabbards on my side. But that combined with my ring, combined hopefully with Bountiful Light, should give me a ton of health regen. Ah, uh, I remember these guys, these angels, which were the bane of my life. Now, thankfully, I actually know how to deal with them. I need him to lose aggro. There we are. Okay. Take the plunge. I very nearly missed. Oh, I did actually sort of miss, and I took full damage. Okay. Look at that health regen. You were a sucker for the tricorn hat. I actually really like it. I do, I'd like... 
I don't know, something about the combination of the hat with this mask. Kind of reminds me of Hollow Knight in a sense, just like the sort of stoic look. Um, but yeah, the Tricone hat makes me think of Bloodborne. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I believe that is a weapon that he just used, and I haven't got it. Ooh, he's tanky. I think the other one's about to... I don't even think I've got my... What's health? Uh, it's not vitality. I'll have to have a look at my stats, but I'm pretty sure I haven't even got it up to the soft cap, which I think is 40 for everything. I think it's at 30 or 35. Um, yeah, my Vigor is only at 31, so I could put 9 more po points into that to get even more health. Um, strength and Dexterity both at 40, quality build. I've started putting points into Faith because I'm, I'm at level 138, so I'm really high level. Uh, endurance is at 30. I might need to raise Attunement very soon as well. Intelligence and Luck, I'm just not interested in raising. I could put some into intelligence and go back to kind of a, using pyromancies a little bit, but generally if I use a quality build, if I have any spells or pyromancies, it's only for like utility or support, like flame weapon or warmth or these two miracles which heal. myself mixed up now. Right, let's get rid of this because I don't need it. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know he could damage enemies. Wait, that was the wrong way. Wait, where was I supposed to go? I panicked. I panicked. I thought that was the right way to go and I fell off. <laughs> oh no, that's 150,000 souls on the line. And I don't think I've got any rings of sacrifice. Hang on, let me have a check. I do! I've got one. I've, I need to get rid of all these like duplicate rings very soon. They're going to be a pain to navigate. Creepy ass edgy angel. They are a nightmare to deal with. I mean, I think you can kill them with like bows and great bows, but it's generally not worth it. And you haven't really got much of a, an opportunity to actually do that without being hit. Right, let's just run past these guys entirely. I still can't shake how much they remind me of uh, the Orphan of Kos from Bloodborne, the last boss in the DLC. <laughs> Feel the old hat. Um... Right. Get this guy to spawn wherever he is. There he is. You see, when I did this in new game. Um, I changed my stats to have uh, points into intelligence to wield Frida's Great Scythe. And I had the sorcery to let me turn nearly invisible and it actually worked against these guys. They couldn't see me. Nightmare to deal with? You're thinking nightmare in general. 
pretty much. Which way do I go? Do I not go down that way? Pretty sure I don't go this way. No, I'm pretty sure that's a dead end. Oh, no, there's a doorway through to here. Just run past them, hopefully they won't aggro onto me. Also notice how this is the very same area that's in the courtyard of the Hangwall of Lothric at the very start of the game. These axes are great. Which is kind of backed up by the fact that these are Lothric Knights, albeit very strong ones and covered in some sort of vines. I'm presuming that's like a damage buff. Oh yeah, that's definitely a damage buff. Very strong. Moving on. Oh, I think he infinitely spawns. guys do. Okay, this leads me over here, okay. Silver Serpent Ring plus three, very nice. Infinite spawn means infinite farming. I mean, it, I, I don't think they drop any items. And the amount of souls they drop isn't that high. There's like a lot of really good farming locations. Most notably, from my experience, is the Duke's Archives. You can just run from the first bonfire about halfway through. Because all of those candle scholars, especially the ones with the lit candles, are very, very, very good for getting souls. Now, the angels... I came across the, that thing that's over there, and I didn't know what it was, but I didn't want to attack it because I was so close to dying. Turns out, these guys are very important. And they act as umbilical cords. Killing that kills the angel. And I get Twinkling Titanite for my trouble as well. So... Yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't figure it out first time. But it's fine. 
There's Gale helping me out again. I do a lot of damage, I'm just going to run past them. On the phone. Ooh, there's Nightmare over there. Okay, so apparently most of the enemies can actually hurt each other. In the steel sea. Oh, he just. Okay. I didn't know they could butt slam. That's interesting. They've got a pretty cool weapon. I don't think. I don't think it picked up. Four chunks and over 10,000 souls for killing one of them. That is insane. Are any of these guys alive? No. Am I, am I going to hell? Killing angels is bad. Well, those angels shouldn't have attacked me and scared the living daylight out of me. Take the plunge. You will die. Be funny if I missed this uh, little circle and died. And we have made it to Irvin Peak 2.0. I'm very, very surprised they actually added what is essentially an area from Dark Souls 2 into this. I mean, obviously they added a few areas from Dark Souls 1 into this. I'll be, uh, that being Anno Londo and basically a new version of Firelink Shrine. Oh, I just built a drink down myself. Nice. Right, I better go back to Final Shrine because I have a lot of souls. They need to add with the ship posting face. Wait, what? What are you doing, character? Why are you doing the patches squat? I didn't ask you to do that. I really want to upgrade Gale's great sword, actually to maximum. I love the weapon art for it. Like, I just, I like weapons that are really fun to use. I mean, the axes aren't exactly, like, tons of fun, but they do a lot of damage. And the weapon art is just, literally, spin to win. That's pretty good. Not really useful against enemies unless you know you can stunlock them, but, you know. Uh, okay. Uh... Let's see if I can upgrade the greatsword first. Let's get rid of the claws because they tend to get in the way. Did what need? Reinforce. So I need Titanite scales. I don't know where I can infinitely farm them, to be honest. Uh, scene strength, Dean, dexterity. Do I want to? I mean, we'll leave it for now because there Pretty might be another be boss weapon that I really want. I should really look. I haven't spoken to what we call him in absolutely ages, so let's find out what weapons I can get. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, happened upon any twisted souls? There's a lot... Oh, there's a lot of stuff I can get, which I've never... <laughs> I mean, I've got two souls of Yorm. Right. Uh, I don't know if there's any way to look at the DLC weapons. I think I've already got the Chaos Bed Vestiges. No, I haven't, actually. 
uh, Bountiful Sunlight, which I think I'm using. Possibly. Who knows? Soothing Sunlight, I can't really use either. Seething Chaos looks like a lot of fun, but I need 18 intelligence. For weapons... Where are... Right, so Slave Knight Gale can also give me the repeating crossbow. The way this is ordered really kind of confuses me a bit. I can get the Moonlight great, so that would be great. Uh, Dark Eater Medea gives me the Frayed Blade, which... 40 Dexterity, it's a Katana. Uh, that's fine. We'll look at it later. No, no. For now, let us continue on. Let's also hope that the angel doesn't actually respawn. Because that will cause a few problems, if I'm honest. Oh no, he hasn't spawned yet. Right, okay, so. Don't really want a shield or anything. We'll get rid of that and re add. Where is. Ringed Knight Straight Sword plus five. There we are. We're good. Another angel. This does mean I'm going to have to try and get back up here once I've killed the angel. Yeah, I think the angels do respawn because there's the one that spawns over here. There he is. Ah, it's not good, and I don't know where the the enemy is. Oh god! Clump, I actually need that. Right. So the... Oh, where the hell is the umbilical cord? Or the enemy I need to kill. I want to make that pri priority number one. But I cannot remember... Right, well first... Right, first thing I'm going to do, get the health regen started. You might you might need to wish me luck for this, because this is not going to end well. Ooh. Stay here, hope nothing's attacking me. <coughs> Except for the goddamn angel who can curse me. Poison subside. Oh, okay. There's a big guy behind me. This is the problem with this angel. You can, you can just hit me. Oh, okay. Ooh, lad. Okay. Um. Go down this 
no. Let's go back this way. Oh, this does mean I'm going to have to fight my old friend, Bloody Desert Sorceress, who is an absolute pain in the half. I totally forgot you existed, and now I regret everything. Oh my god. Did that really just happen? That really just happened. And I think I forgot to level up as well. I went back to Firelink Shrine for nothing. Although I did have the Ring of Sacrifice, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Well, the Ring of Steel protect Protection is not going to help me in this area, so... I'll find something. HP with successive attacks. I'll do that. Right, let's go back to Firelink Shrine and actually level up, and then try it again. Ripperoni. Those stupid, like, imp enemies, the thralls, they can absolutely annihilate you no matter how strong you are. I mean, that was a two-shot right there. And he should be easy to dodge, but he's got that really weird delay when he attacks. He just kind of, like, follows you. Welcome home, speak. Very well, then he... I can level up just the ones. But that should actually give me enough to... Hang on. I've only got two slots, though. I should be able to use Lightning Blade. No, I can't. It's, fi it's, it's 30. What's 28, then? Sacred Oath. That requires two slots. In that case, we're going to need attunement of additional spells. So if I do that, so boost attack and defense, and if I get bountiful light. So I can get a bit of health regen as well. So that should really help me out. And then I should get my faith to 30. And then increase my attunement so I get maybe 3 or 4 slots. Uh, in total. And then I should be good. I can just put the more points back into health and endurance. <laughs> Try and get those up to 40 over time. checking OBS. I have not dropped any frames, which is amazing. Let's see how much attunement or FP this uses up. Quite a lot as it turns out. Hang on. I've just had a thought. Why does he attack that one? Never attacks this one. I'm gonna run over here. There it is. Nope, that's not him. I don't think I've been this direction yet. Wait, giant door shield? No, no. <laughs> I don't like this guy. Ugh. Oh. I 
I need to check out that that shield. That looks insane. Oh, oh, that. Um... That was a cliff. I'm panicking so hard because I'm determined to find that umbilical cord because there is a lot of items here. Right, okay, no. Before we do anything... I need 45 strength of that. Unusually shaped pair great shield... The paired great shield resembling great doors. Heirlooms of the knight who is known as the protector of the meek, yet who failed to protect anyone. Uh, weapon skills lock out. Shut the great doors tightly for stalwart defense and use normal attack to transition into shield bash or strong attack for a heave that holds shields to block near the old. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that's. You can, you can just straight up attack with these as well. I am, yeah, I am literally a pair of doors. That is quite spectacular, if I'm honest. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I think the DLC has outdone itself. Well, time to put five more points into strength so I could use those. Right, I need to somehow grab my souls and then run back. So this should raise my defense just a bit. And any damage I do take should gradually be healed up. I don't think I'm going to make it. Am I going to make it? There we go. Ah, oh, this enemy sucks. Right. The second one spawned in now. Knock, knock. <laughs> knock, knock, you died. I know I found the the enemy to kill the angel when I last played this, but it, I cannot remember which direction. I'm fairly certain I have to go out across the poison swamp, which is not an ideal move. Digging over there as well. Yeah, he's coming for me now. Yeah, he never fails to hit you. I got quite lucky that time. I didn't take that much damage, but hopefully it's one of those rare perma dead enemy. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, considering the first angel res I think respawned. Unless there are three of them, which I'm not 100% sure. Right. Run back here. Let this guy come to me if he... Right, okay, now... Right, 
one down. He's using blue dots and I There we are, okay. For someone who doesn't have, like, hardly any defense, she, yeah, she does a lot of damage, and it's really annoying. I really struggle to actually beat her, if I'm honest. I can be your angle or your demon. Your demon. To be fair, I'm probably not using the best weapon, because these aren't exactly fast. Uh, okay. In fact... What if I got upgraded to max? I need to clear out this bloody inventory. This is ridiculous. I've got the shop. You know what? Let's go for those. Go for the stabby stabby. It might actually work. <laughs> he hit me mid air. Just keep moving. See, right here, he never feels. Yep. That's 100,000 souls down the drain. I don't understand. Why can't I just throw the axe at the angel? <laughs> That's, that would be a waste of a very good axe. No, these guys I'm pretty sure have a lot of health and I haven't got haven't actually got any bows upgraded properly. Very strange for me, because I always tend to have bows used, especially great bows. As of uh, Dark Souls 2. I suppose now at least I've got nothing to lose. how to really dodge this attack. It's got like stupid amounts of tracking by the looks of it. I completely forgot you can move and that's really annoying. And I've put myself in a really bad spot right now. Okay, we're good. All right, Desert Sorceress is coming, so wait for a short while and then rebuff. He's 
these guys can just combo you for days. They're annoying because they, they tend to just like move around really erratically and like dodge back and stuff like that. Oh, that was a stupid idea. Okay. Seriously? Could you like not do that? Oh, for goodness sake. Alright, alright. That's how you want to play. I really wish she could actually run out of uh, pyromancies. But of course, she can heal as well. Get wrecked! Oh, thank you. Okay. Seriously, she should not be a tough enemy, and yet I really, really struggle with her. It's quite embarrassing. I don't know if anyone else struggles with her, but... Okay, now for the fun part. Hey, thank you for the host, Chris. 46 viewers, my goodness. Also, I, oh, okay, I don't think the notification showed up again. Hang on, let me move notifications on top. That should be good. Okay, sorry about that, Chris. Right, where, where is the angel? Oh, it's, it's directly in front but underneath. No, it's not. Oh, there you are. My horrifyingly annoying enemy. Okay, just make a dash for it. What could go wrong? Oh, they are both attacking me now. Oh. Out here, out here. No. Just no! The, the, no, the bonfire is directly down there. No. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Hey, thank you for the follow. The bonfire was literally right in front below. That is heartbreaking. Can't believe you've done this, angels. Okay, you know what? I don't think that was the right way to... Ugh. To find the enemy to kill the angel, so... I'm gonna go with my instinct and say it was across the... Fix it. Fix the game from, please. Fix it. I beg you. Ugh. Am I Bayonetta now? You've been naughty! No. No, let's not go there. Dude, I wish I could be as sassy as uh, Bayonetta. That would be... It will be kind of weird, but... Please be across the swamp. You cheeky... Isn't Bayonetta out on PC now? I should actually get that game. Please. No. No. I don't think it's that way. I... I don't know where it is, and I need to know where. 
I'm pretty sure I had I have to end up on a rooftop somewhere and drop down. I need I need to know. I I cannot let them get away with this. I need my revenge. It is on PC. I'm probably going to invest in it at some point then. I mean, I've never played it before and obviously I've heard great things about it. Hang on, if I... No, it's not that way, that's just a point. Okay, raw spamming is markedly better than just trying to outrun it. Okay. That would be great. <laughs> That direction, that's for sure. It's somewhere around here, I am 99% sure. I don't care if I have to poison myself doing it. Oh, there is literally no cover. Hang on, there's a big branch up there. Okay, I think I know where I actually have to go. I do actually have to go all the way around. I have enough snark to be Bayonetta. Really? Does that mean I could be a beautiful dancer in skin tight clothes that is apparently hair? I'm making myself cringe by saying that to be honest. Forget it. <laughs> These enemies have been in my life and I hate you and I wish you would not exist. I can't say die because you are dead. Way I need to go. The only problem is it puts me right into the path of both of these enemies. And I really don't think I can deal with that right now. two enemies. Yeah, my axe is better than yours. Right, okay, so there's an angel well over there. 
somewhere. I can see his wing. The other angel's here. Oh no! 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 I can't move! I can't believe that happened! The son of a bitch caught me as I was trying to buff. This... This is single-handedly the worst enemy in the entirety of Dark Souls. I'm gonna say it right now. I have never hated an enemy more than this. Wield skeletons? Eh, no problem. Basilisks? Eh. They're lame. The, even these imp enemies are not compared to these goddamn angels. It wouldn't be so bad if these angels weren't so accurate. I feel like they shouldn't be that accurate. They can just kind of track your shots. Or track your movement, sorry. I mean, that right there is a little bit unfair, if I'm honest. I mean, I suppose on the bright side, at least it doesn't stagger you, but still. Such a pain to deal with. Right, okay. We've got him with the poison flamberge. Got the two up ahead with the burning weapons. Am I actually safe now? Right, now is as good a time as I need to just run. Wait, I need to drop down here. Absolutely book it. Nope, that was the wrong path. Keep running. No, wait, that's gonna kill me. I think it's gonna kill me. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Now, this does unfortunately mean that I will not be able to kill the angels. I've got no choice but to let them get away with this. Oh. But at least I can continue. I will have to return to here at some point and probably just give myself some insanely good armor. Just tank it all out. For now, I'm going to Ember up. I'm not online on the PS4 because I generally can't really be online on the PS4 and stream on PC at the same time. But there should be, there he is. Good old Slave Night Gale. Because I'm going to need help with this boss fight because it's not that easy. Alright. Let's see if I can do this first try. Remember what you were saying about the spiky rocks, Merg? Oh, 
What if I can collapse myself off? Right like this. There we are. Myself up. I'm gonna wait for it. So this is a pretty interesting boss fight, um, because these two demons have different kinds of behavior. If they're all lit up like this, it makes them like hyper aggressive and really hard to deal with. But after a while, they sort of like fizzle out and become a lot weaker. I also found out that, well, you'll find out with the second phase, which I'll let you guys see for yourselves. I think they have a couple of AOE attacks as well, so I need to be careful. Heels doing work on the other demon. Look at that. I think we shouldn't be focusing on the same demon, to be honest, but. attack and you can see it looks a bit weakened from it. Him actually, anyway, so good work, Gail. You might want to step back, Gail. Now comes phase two. So, I actually found out very recently that depending on which um, of the two demons you kill, I think, last, uh, dictates which one gets buffed because they both have different second phases. Apparently one, with the most notable features, one fires sort of a laser beam, the other one fires like a ton of fireballs. This is the laser beam one, as it turns out. That is a lot of damage. He's just focusing on Gale entirely. Good camera angle. It doesn't seem like the buffs from my castings last very long. They seem to last just a few seconds. But he does actually throw fireballs as well. Scale. That was a huge fireball. A lot of AOE attacks as well. I think I need to stay unlocked for this fight. Where is he? Where is he? I 
damage I do. Is I can't tell if the damage is minimal or if he's very tanky. Well, 110 damage was better damage. Yeah, that's really low damage. I'm sure I can stagger him, but I think I need to do hits to the head in order to actually be able to reverse him. so I can increase my life, uh, my health regen. No, it's over. For a first attempt, it did fairly well, but I just didn't do any damage. I'm going to need... I don't know what I need. I think I need a weapon with a bit more reach that either attacks faster or just kind of outreaches to the point of actually helps, if that makes sense. Um, okay. You're not going to help me at all. Uh, what if I got fully upgraded? That will help. I really want to... Apparently it's a great sword, but it's actually a halberd. Or halbeard. I mean, the ring knight paired great swords will work wonders. Firelink great sword plus five, that does fire damage, that's pointless. Onyx blade isn't going to help. That does dark damage. There really isn't much that can help. I mean, the I've got the Godhard Twin Swords up to max, but they actually do less damage. In fact, let's get rid of those and equip... Because I think I've got a shield that actually increases health regen as well. This one. Yeah, it regenerates HP, so it's better just to have this. got the butcher's knife plus 10 that should help me very nicely I think it does less damage overall but I should be able to get a bit of health regen from it and we're going to resummon Gale because we've got plenty of embers Just hope all this health regen actually stacks. Got one. Got two.
But there's a way for me and Gale to focus on the same demon all the time. That should really help, because I want to try and get keep Gale on as high health as possible so you can actually be around and tell you the second phase. The only problem with this technique is that during the first phase, both demons are... Although they're actually right next to each other, so I'm actually damaging both of them at the same time, which is... Got him stuck in the same animation there. Eh? Okay, one down. Good work, Gale. Do some heavy damage. Souls back, get Gale out of here. I think this is the other Demon Prince phase. I think this is the Fireball one. This is, yeah, this is the final ball phase, but... But fireballs coming from behind, which means I can't exactly do much. Oh, goodness! Him and nice camera angle. This is yet another fight with the camera angle, is not my friend. No, is that it? No, I'm alive. That health regen just saved me. No, Gale! 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 The Demon Prince landed on me. Oh! So all of the Demon Prince.
150,000 souls. I can level up from that. This is uh, a lot more difficult than I thought it would be, despite everything. I was thinking maybe since I've played this before, it shouldn't be too much more difficult, but Jesus Christ. Now we can continue on to the Ringed City. Away I go. I have to be honest, despite like the huge amount of salt I seem to be experiencing right now with this uh, playthrough, I think this is probably personally the best DLC through the, in the entire series, which I suppose is a given, considering, you know, it is the last DLC of the last game of the series. Still haven't come across the, the lap guy. Don't know where he is. I don't know if I've passed him. I'll have to look it up. Now this was a fun experience last time. I could have made a highlight out of it, but unfortunately by this point, um, my stream just completely fell apart. Just dropping frames, I couldn't see anything. So, thankfully with the power of my new capture card, it looks like I'm doing pretty alright. Hack. Hack. They, they brought thee here, did they not? Dost thou the gods serve? Or merely that role affect. I serve the God, sure. <laughs> A lie. A wretched lie. How wouldst one such as thee do service to the gods? Thy scheme is known to me. I know what it is thou desirest. The dark soul. No? Why else wouldst one deign to visit this dung heap? Give rest to thy falsity. I would be an ally to thee. <laughs> if it is the dark soul thou desirest, then seek Filianor's church at the base of the cliff. There wilt thou the sleeping princess waken. Her slumber is a deceit, a lid covering an overgrown privy. A prop to keep thee from the dark soul of thine desire. <laughs> Worry not, I am a truth. If thou art yet human, the urge will soon begin to swell. To curse the gods and bring ruin upon this accursed heap of dung. <laughs> I wish I could laugh like this. Now, yearly to fill in if thou yet... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it now. Oh, all right. Um, well, I'll probably end the stream there, but I'll show you guys what happens here and why I died immediately. Step too close, this guy up there. Spawns a bunch of uh, the ghosts, which are like ruined sentinels. 
which are enemies which were or bosses that were in Dark Souls 2. Give it a try, dude. <laughs> Sound like a monkey on fucking ecstasy. I sound like a cross between the Charger and the Jockey from Left 4 Dead. Alright, let's... I suppose I've got a couple of souls I can... Ah, uh, we'll use them. Probably a huge mistake, but that's fine. I could probably do some stream uh, grinding off stream. <laughs> Good. Good. And if people thought I was a weirdo beforehand, I think I've outdone myself. Welcomes very well. Right. Do I have enough to level up twice? I do not. I am very close though. I suppose I could um, use one of the boss souls that give like magic weapons and stuff like that. I think I've got two of. Oh. That's pop one of the deacons of the deep. Now was that enough? Welcome I don't house. think that was enough. Very well then taken. Shit, it wasn't even enough. I'm gonna sell some stuff. Ashen one. Ah. What can I sell? That I've got loads of. I suppose I've got any duplicate spells. No, I don't. Keep the twin swords because they're kind of fun. going to be able to get enough, to be honest. I'm going to need to sell off some better weapons. I'm going to keep both pickaxes. I might be able to make use of having two. That was basically his laugh. Uh, I could do a bit better, I guess. Keep the whips because they're always handy to have. What about armor? Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Anything that's a duplicate can just go. That's a duplicate, that's a dupe. And that is, I've got two of them. I think that's enough. Ashen one. Well, very well then. Oh, just enough. Farewell, Ashen one. Wait, hang on. Yeah, okay, so I've leveled up, which means I can actually attune. So we've got Sacred Oath. Let's tune lightning blade. Don't think I can use it with... Can't use it with the butcher's knife, but I can use it with my thin axes. So I've now got a nice uh, buff to power me up. So that's pretty good. That should really help me out. Let's go. Uh, let's. Uh, I might try to go for the next bonfire. We'll give it one or two tries, and I can't exactly see myself getting very far in this area because this is an absolute pain. It's a nightmare.
There's a specific path that you have to take and you have to be really careful. That is why this area is an absolute nightmare. That was only a couple of them. That was only maybe, what, five that spawned and uh, hit me? Firing squad, I know. If that wasn't enough, there's also a few skeletons lurking around here as well. Which you have to kind of dispatch. And there is another one. There he is. Directly into like the, the doorway. I cannot go up the stairs, but I can go around in order to take down this absolute prick of an enemy. There's not much of an opportunity. The, the spawning of weird. I remember, I need to drop down. Oh, I'm such a fool. There's a point, there's like a, a bridge or something that's off the side that I need to jump down to. I totally should have remembered that. I don't think I've ever actually found this Y-Hander in this game. Yeah, you can just about, just on the right side there. I should be safe now. Literal firing squad. Yeah, nice pun. Nice. Oh, bye, Chris. Oh, no, you're not gone, Crystal Lizard. Ooh. Right, now... Where is he? He's up here. I got absolutely stunlocked. I cannot believe this. 
can't believe you've done this. Try this one more time. If it doesn't work, we'll uh, call it a day. Been streaming for a longer than normal, actually. I don't think I can damage any of these guys either. So when I sprint up, there's going to be a couple that spawn on the wall, but I think they only spawn the once, maybe. that skeleton go rolling around at the speed of sound magnum pun man pi right okay now i can go back and collect these items i guess that like this first area really kind of sets the tone for the entirety of the uh, the ring city I mean, the area before doesn't isn't actually part of the Ring City. It's just obviously part of the DLC that kind of builds up to here. All fits into the lore and that sort of stuff. Wait, is there anything here? Uh, no, nope, must just be a dead end. Don't know why this is here. Now there should be an item over here, actually. Yeah, we got the Ruin outfit. Pretty sure it's the actual outfit that the Ruin Sentinels from Dark Souls 2 had. Right, now we can continue onwards. Were the angels supposed to keep people out of the Ring City? From what I gather, no. Um, like, the law is not something I know much of at all. Whoa! Did I say carrot? C carrot? 200 bits. Thank you so much, Merg. You seriously don't need to give me bits, dude. You're totally fine. 
but thank you very much nonetheless. Um, but there's, there's a famous YouTuber that a lot of people know called Varty, Varty Video, I think, and he is well known for kind of delving into the like specifics of the lore of all the games. And I watched a video or two of The Ring City, and from what I gather, the uh, there isn't much on the angels that I remember, but there was something about these ruin sentinels coming from possibly Drang Lake, uh, Dark Souls 2, and them being captured or killed here, and that guy who was like, controlling them essentially turned them into like a living force to bolster the, def the defences of the Ring City. Um, I don't really know too much, it's, it's very obscure, but something like that. The only other thing that I could like glean from all of this is that this is meant to be the end of the world. Many of us are by the fire, forsaken. I speak of thine kind and mine. Behold this city. We are kindred, but like two eyes which gaze upon the other. Fear not the dark, my friend. And let the feast, and let the be feast be. Yep, begin. I've heard that before. One was a wayfaring knight on an endless, forbidden search. Only the abyss granted closure, if not reunion with his beloved. Fear not the dark. Many, I behold this city. Fear not, and uh, he just kind of repeats the same thing. I forgot about you, friend. Cheeky. Going the wall up there, and there's going to be So I think this is now past the point where I had to give up on um, streaming this when, like before I had this capture card obviously. But this is kind of where the DLC does get really good, a lot of fun. But for now, the first thing I'm going to do is go out here. Hopefully not get ambushed. Okay, we're good. Ember. Can sort of see some stuff down there. Right, but now, yeah, looks like um in a good spot now. So yeah, uh, I think that's good enough to end the stream really. So allow me to. Four. Switch to the outro, and there we are. So yeah, thank you all for watching, everyone. Um, very, very happy that this has worked out well. So you can definitely expect me to stream a lot more games from the PS4. Mostly just be games that I cannot really run on my computer to begin with, like Dark Souls 3. Um, Maybe I could return to Fallout 4 and start that again. Maybe I could go back to The Witcher. Um, I also want to stream some exclusive games like Bloodborne. That is definitely a priority for me. So yeah, things are finally starting to look up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. A good stream. Indeed, indeed. But yeah, thank you all for watching everyone. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be streaming tomorrow as well. Get a few streams going. Uh, probably continue with this. So it should be fun. 
So thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.